Ali Cecere and welcome to this edition of Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. This beautiful true color image features the Red Sea coral reefs off the coast of Saudi Arabia. This vast desolate area in the very northern corner of the Red Sea is bordered by the Hayyads Mountains to the east. The area was once crisscrossed by ancient trade routes that played a vital role in the development of many of the region's greatest civilizations. Today, the Red Sea separates the coasts of Egypt, Sudan and Eritrea to the west from those of Saudi Arabia and Yemen to the east. It contains some of the world's warmest and saltiest seawater. With hot, sunny days and the lack of any significant rainfall, Dust storms from the surrounding deserts frequently sweep across the sea. This hot, dry climate causes high levels of evaporation from the sea, which leads to the Red Sea's high salinity. It is just over 300 kilometers across at its widest point, about 1,900 kilometers long, and up to 2,600 meters deep. Much of the immediate shoreline is quite shallow, dotted with coral reefs along most of the coast, making excellent diving spots in many areas. Its name derives from the color changes in the waters. Normally, the Red Sea is an intense blue-green. Occasionally, however, extensive algae blooms form, and when they die off, they turn the sea a reddish-brown color. The Red Sea lies in a fault separating two blocks of Earth's crust the Arabian and African plates. Navigation in the Red Sea is difficult. The shorelines in the northern half provide some natural harbors, but the growth of coral reefs has restricted navigable channels and blocked some harbor facilities. Shallow submarine shelves and extensive fringing reef systems rim most of the Red Sea, by far the dominant reef type found here. The lighter blue water depicted in the image means that the water is shallower than the surrounding darker blue water. Furthermore, water clarity is exceptional in the Red Sea because of the lack of river discharge and low rainfall. Therefore, fine sediment that typically plagues other tropical oceans, particularly after large storms, does not affect the Red Sea reefs. This image was captured by Sentinel-2 on June 28, 2015, after its instruments had been activated. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. Watch us on our website or through the ESA app on your mobile device. From the ESA Web TV Studios, have a very nice day.